Autumn has been very short this year, but I collected so many memories this past season. Even if I'm late into the timeline, I would like to share them with you. Here at our chalet, we have many trees that need severe pruning because they have disease. They need to be taken down. We had many things to prepare around the house to welcome the first guest of the season. So for now, we just pruned back all the branches. We also changed the tired summer plants into our winter arrangements. Even if summer flowers are my favorite, I love to go to the garden center and buy new plants. I find it very calming and a great way to fight stress. This time of the year, I really like to prepare cakes. Shops and restaurants in Alta Badia are mostly closed in the off-season, and I get to enjoy the large kitchen all for myself. We renovated this kitchen last spring. We rent this chalet for large groups, and the guests get to have it most of the year. If I'm being honest, I've always had a very strong sweet tooth, and I love everything chocolate. So I decided to prepare the most famous chocolate cake in the Alps, the Sacher Torte. Loved by many, and you can find it all around the Rifugi in the valley. Sutirol doesn't have a huge dessert tradition. The Austro-Hungarian influence in its cuisine is strong and present to this day. The original recipe is from Vienna, specifically from the famous Sacher Hotel. Until 1918, it was part of the Austro-Hungarian princely county of Tyrol. But this almost completely German-speaking territory was occupied by Italy at the end of the war in November 1918 and became part of the Kingdom of Italy after that. Even after all the unsuccessful efforts of the fascists to erase their heritage, the language and the recipes stayed in the region. Cooking has always been one of my passions. I love to cook for the people I care the most. I believe it is truly an act of love and, even if I'm not an accomplished chef, I can still show people I care about them with a home-cooked meal. Whether it's memories with my grandparents, having a nice meal after so much time without seeing my family, cooking and food is woven in every relationship I've had. I remember that as a kid, my mom prepared us fantastic meals growing up. She was so worried about our health and well-being that she made the effort every single day to cook fresh meals that were nutritionally balanced. While other kids had street food every day, my mother had cream of squash, risotto coi funghi, or a steak waiting for me at home. My childhood memories were mostly set in the kitchen. My father, sisters, and me sitting around the table eating mom's homemade baked chicken on Sunday. Mom baking decadent birthday cupcakes for me to take to school. And on Christmas Day, everyone in my extended family buzzing around grandma's lasagna, with a glass of wine in hand, of course, whipping up no less than 12 dishes from scratch. Fast food was not a term used in our household. Instead, meals brought us together as a family and were something to be savored. For my mother, Cooking and providing for her family was her language of love. Silly enough, 
I never put a foot inside the kitchen until my 20s. My mom would laugh and say, you love to eat great food. So one day, you're going to figure it out. Cooking can actually be kind of fun, she said. Fast forward to my early 20s, I was living on my own in a Milan studio apartment, just blocks away from very good restaurants. But even then, going out to dinner didn't interest me. I yearned my mom's homemade risotto and realized this was the one day she was talking about. So armed with my mom's best recipes and some creativity, and I taught myself how to cook in my 2x4 kitchen. So now that I live here, I try my best to learn the local recipes and give them my own twists. It is so fun to share and prepare new dishes, see the stories behind them, and the memories people collect at the table. Also, now that I live in the countryside, I get the chance to grow and raise my own food. Goods like butter, eggs, raw milk, pasture-raised meats, fresh summer vegetables, you name it. A dream come true for a foodie. I wouldn't change a thing. I hope you spend these New Year's having a great time with your family and friends. Maybe at the table, or just having a drink. Or if you have to spend New Year's alone, I send you a big, big hug. Thank you so much for the support, guys. And I appreciate if you like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. Sending you all my love. Have a lovely day or night. See you soon. Bye.